1.5 million. Yep, that's 1.5 million. 1.5 million that aren't strewn across our streets and countryside glistening in the sunlight. 1.5 million that can, now that's a clue, be used to make more of the same over and over again. This is 1.5 million recycled aluminium cans. Impressive, isn't it? Novellis is the world's biggest recycler of aluminium cans, with six plants like this one on four continents. We recycle over 30 billion cans every year, and that's a good thing. This plant at Warrington in Cheshire is the only plant in Europe dedicated to recycling used aluminium drink cans. As well as recycling cans from the UK, we work with markets abroad, including Scandinavia and the rapidly growing markets of Eastern Europe. Compared with producing aluminium by smelting bauxite ore, it takes 95% less energy to produce aluminium by remelting cans. It also cuts down on greenhouse gas emissions. It is also infinitely recyclable, which means buy a drink in an aluminium can one day, and then, around 60 days later, you could be drinking from another can with a bit of the first can in it. We estimate that around half of the aluminium used in can production around the world has been previously recycled. This infinite recyclability means aluminium cans have an intrinsic value. In fact, they're the most valuable recyclable in our domestic waste stream. We understand the value of recycling, not just for our business, but for the whole environment. Novellis is committed to improving the recycling rate for aluminium packaging. Under the government's producer responsibility legislation, which obliges reprocessors to reinvest in the recycling infrastructure, we work with a wide range of businesses and organisations to stimulate collection, as well as communication and education initiatives to promote recycling to the widest possible audience. Here, families can get involved and learn all about the value of recycling and have a lot of fun doing it. We work hand in hand with many different organisations to advise them in the setting up of collection schemes, many of which you're probably well aware of, such as local authority curbside collections and can banks, and now, more frequently, in workplaces. This centre in Manchester runs a cash for cans service, where recyclers are paid for aluminium cans they bring in. we have established a network of aggregation centres to provide our suppliers with convenient local delivery points. Here we can also check the quality of the cans before they're dispatched to our recycling plant in Warrington. Built in 1989 at a cost of £28 million, it operates 24 hours a day, 50 weeks a year, and produces 120,000 tonnes of recycled aluminium ingots every year. That's more than every can sold in the UK. Bailed cans are fed via this conveyor into the shredder, which cuts the cans into small pieces. Then a powerful magnet removes any last traces of steel. Printed decoration is removed from the cans by blowing hot air through the shreds, 
This decoating process also pre-warms the shreds so they melt faster in the furnace. They are fed into this side well, where a submerged stirrer in the molten metal creates a vortex, pulling the shreds down quickly to speed up the melting process. The plant's two melting furnaces are heated to around 700 degrees and can handle 90 tonnes of aluminium each. This is dross. It rises to the top during the melting process, gets skimmed off and in turn gets recycled. The quality of the metal produced is vitally important to the end user, the can makers. So throughout the process, the aluminium is tested in our labs to make sure the metal meets their demanding specifications. To increase production, molten metal is transferred from the adjacent general products plant using state-of-the-art equipment. This has increased annual output by 25%. When the molten metal is ready, it is transferred to a holding furnace for final alloying. Waiting at the end of the process is this pit, which is 10 metres deep. The holding furnace is slowly tilted and the molten metal flows down this channel into three moulds placed over the pit. As the moulds are cooled by this curtain of water, they sink further down into the pit, allowing more metal to be poured on top. Two and a half hours later, we get this. It's 10 metres long, weighs 27 tonnes, and is made up of 1.5 million recycled cans. Once it leaves here, it's on its way to the Novellis rolling mill in Germany. The recycled metal is indistinguishable from primary metal, which makes recycling aluminium so valuable, not only because of the cost-effective process, but because it is a real renewable resource. If we could recycle every can, then we would save natural resources, cut down pollution, and reduce the amount of waste buried in landfill sites. It makes financial sense. It makes environmental sense. It just makes a lot of sense. Novellis is leading the way in attempting to recycle every aluminium can we can.